The future of security is looking good, but it's not all about gadgets, weapons, and ray guns. In a crowded world, sometimes security is just about getting out fast. When emergencies strike, it's sometimes easy to forget which way is up. Say a bomb goes off or a fire breaks out. You need to evacuate, but in a panic mob with bodies fleeing in every direction, which way should you go? Now, meet the man with the plan. Wherever I go, one of the first things I do is figure out how to get out of the place that I'm in. I always try and find the way out. Ed Gallia is the master of escape. He's been teaching the art of evacuation at the University of Greenwich for 25 years. Most people don't appreciate how hazardous or potentially hazardous the environment is that, that they're occupying. Hotels, people don't tend to think, what happens if there's a fire and then how do I get out? When you're on the subway, you don't think, what happens if I have to get out of here? That's why Gallia has been running computer simulations of what people are likely to do in emergency situations. It's a scary picture where dying could be as simple as heading in the wrong direction a subway station. What we're going to see is an evacuation which is a result of say a fire or a terrorist attack. We're about a minute into the situation here. People are beginning to feel the effects of the smoke and the toxic gases. Not everyone started to evacuate at the same time. People are moving towards the only way they know how to get out of this subway station and that's the way they came in. They don't even know where the signs are leading them towards the emergency exit. So everyone's piling up trying to get out the way they came in. And you can see there's a number of fatalities on the platform already. There's about 30 people dead in this particular simulation. And the crowd is all trying to go out the main stairs and escalator that brought them into the station. Professor Gallia programs his simulations to produce the most authentic outcome. When you're simulating uh, the evacuation of a building, one of the things that you need to take into account is the population and the people that you're, that you're looking at. So you can, uh, you, can, you can develop a model where, for example, 20% uh, of the people know the way out and the other 80% of the people might not know the way out. You would make assumptions as to the number of disabled people you might have in, in the building. If you're modeling a situation during rush hour, non-rush, hour, uh, you may have more tourists in the simulation, and, and so you can build that population into the simulation as well. And what's really exciting about Gallia's modeling is he can do it for real disasters the moment they strike, but with everything happening 10 times normal speed. This means firefighters and rescue services could use his simulations to stay ahead of any real-life situation and potentially save hundreds of lives. Of course, this only works if his predictions are accurate, which is why he tests them against actual tragedies. So here we've got a recreation of the Rhode Island nightclub fire. Apart from the way in, there are three emergency exits in this uh, building, but people don't know where they are. They can't see the signs and they don't know where the exits are. So the majority of people are trying to go out the way they came in. So there's huge congestion by this main entrance passageway. There's an exit back here where some people are going to. There's an emergency exit in the bar area, which virtually no one is using. And then there's another exit here through the kitchen, which very, very few people know about. But the vast majority of people are trying to go through the main exit. What the software predicts for this particular situation is that something like 90 people will be killed. In the actual incident, there was 100 fatalities. So this is giving us quite a reasonable recreation of what actually happened in, in this particular fire tragedy. Awesomely accurate for a simulation, but also immensely useful in real life and real time, especially when combined with what Gallia calls active signs. Also in the works at his lab, active signs will react to unfolding conditions, telling first responders how many people are in which part of the building and guiding the victims away from danger and into a safer place. The signs are intelligent. Equipped with biohazard sensors, they'll determine which routes are clear and which are dead ends. And if for some reason an exit is suddenly blocked, say with an obstruction or toxic fumes, the signs will adapt and reroute the flow of traffic. You can use the predictive software running faster than real time to predict the optimal routes for people to use in the event of an emergency and then directing them with the active signage to the optimal routes. In the next 10 years, for only $1.99, you could download this predictive app onto your smartphone. Now that's what I call life insurance.